Well, happy Easter, boys and girls. If you have your Bibles, turn to Matthew 28, 6. In one sentence, it tells us what Easter is all about. He has risen just as he said he would. I want to tell you an Easter story. An Easter story about a little boy named Tommy. Now, Tommy had some physical issues, and he wasn't as bright or smart as some of the other children that he was in school with. He had some learning disabilities and some physical disabilities. And Easter came, and his Sunday school teacher told all the kids in his class that they were all supposed to bring one of those eggs, plastic eggs, with something in it that we could talk about. Something that had to do with Easter. And so Easter Sunday, all the kids came to Sunday school. And they all got around the teacher. And one by one, they opened their plastic eggs. You know, like these. This one has a ring pop in it. This one has a a little toy in it, and we're going to put these out for my grandkids today. And some of them are going to have money, and some of them are going to have candy, and it's fun. And so all around the class, all of the kids opened their plastic Easter eggs, dumped out what was inside, and talked about what was inside. And then it came to Tommy. And Tommy opened his egg, and there was nothing inside. And all the kids started to laugh and make fun. And Tommy got a tear in his eye. And the teacher said, Tommy, why don't you have anything in your egg? And Tommy said, my egg is empty because the tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Well, that touched everybody's heart. And poor Tommy didn't make it for another year. His physical ailments were so bad that he went to be with Jesus. And all of the kids in his Sunday school class went to his memorial service where we celebrate life. And there was a big picture of Tommy and flowers all around. And all of the kids in the Sunday school class put an empty egg by Tommy's picture. Boys and girls, I tell you that story because it's a reminder of what Easter is all about. Oh, sure, it's fun to go collect Easter eggs and have candy and get with the family. But Easter started last week when they nailed Jesus to the cross. And he was dead and buried. But on the third day, he rose from the dead. And because he lives, boys and girls, you and I also will live in eternity with him when we accept his gift of eternal life. I hope that touches your heart. I hope that makes you want to read your Bibles. I hope that makes you want to tell your friends about Jesus and his love for you and for me. Let's bring the worship team up now, and let's have a time of worship together as we sing an Anchored in Hope original, Jesus Came, and took my sins away. Join me now. Jesus came and took my sins away. I just have to trust him and obey. My sins were red as scarlet. Now is why. So he is with me everywhere I go. Jesus. 
Jesus came and took my sins away. And on that cross he died and took my place. One day we will go and see him face to face. Showers with his mercy and his grace. Jesus came and took my sins away. He paid the price that we could never pay. If we just believe and open up the door, in our hearts he'll live forevermore. Yes, Jesus came and took my sins away. In our lives he wants to come and stay. Can't you hear his spirit calling you? It's asking to receive Him now today. So can't you hear?